A lot of bad artists, as I said, will go on shows, they'll, they'll be interviewed and they'll say, oh, I sketched this out for three years before I started. Well, no wonder your, your book is lifeless because there's no organic quality to it. It doesn't de develop out of things. When I, when I wrote this book, when I wrote The Norwegian, I'm writing my current spy book, which will probably be the third longest book uh, after the Vincetti Brothers that I'm writing. Uh, I will go in, I don't start off necessarily, you know, uh, uh, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Uh, I don't think I, the only, I think only with, uh, and pa Pauli Maravelli was dead. That's the only book that I ever started off that I knew that was the first line. I have a general sense of how I'm going to open a book, but usually I'll go, okay, let me see here. I'm in this chapter, I'm going to talk about something and I'll, I'll start with a big scene and I'll have, because, because I know the characters so well, I'll start out with a scene and as Kubrick, Stanley Kubrick said about a film is you just need five or six big scenes together and then you can string them together and you have a film. In the same way with novels, when you have the big scenes done, those are what I generally do first. Then I string together the little poetic moments. And so these sinews, these, these tendons, these ligaments of narrative uh, can, can, can be great writing of their own, but they arise out of the big scenes. And those ligaments often are the starts of chapters or the ends of chapters or the beginnings or ends of books.